The bread toaster is the quickest and most effective device to toast bread. It takes an electrical energy from the power outlet and converts it into heat slash thermal energy very efficiently. To be the most efficient according to the laws of physics, it needs to consume the maximum amount of electrical energy per second. If you really want to cook bread fast, use a toaster with the highest power rating you can find, or wattage. A toaster with a higher watt rating will invariably cook more quickly than one with a lower rating. So now that you have your efficient toaster, now I will explain the process of toasting bread. Rows of glowing red wires are facing the bread. When electricity flows through these wires, they get hot and then fire the heat towards the bread like dozens of miniature radiators. When electricity flows through the wire, energy is transmitted from one end to the wire to another. The movement of energy is similar to water flowing down a pipe. The electrical energy is carried down the wire by electrons, the tiny particles inside the atoms of the metal that make up the wire. As the electricity flows, the electrons jostle about and collide with one another, and with the atoms in the metal wire, giving off heat in the process. The thinner the wire, the greater the electrical current because more collisions happen and then more thermal energy is generated this way. Heat is also not the only thing that's produced when electricity flows down a wire. If the wire is thin enough and provided it's not covered with plastic insulation, its temperature may rise to a, t to a degree that it glows red hot. If the wire is glowing, it is also giving off light. The atoms inside the metal wire are being heated up by the electrons flowing through it. They are absorbing some of the energy as heat, becoming unstable, and then giving off some of the energy as light to try to become stable again. Toasters are made of many different materials. Steel is full of the ingredients, and it is usually from China. Going overseas have created the transfer of polluting the streets, wastes, and ecologically disruptive practices. The political system in China limits people's ability to challenge the harmful environmental statutes, which threatens human rights. Local populations are exposed to bad and radioactive materials because of the mining metals and rare materials by global demand. The poor are first to prosper, but must deal with the environmental, health, financial, and ecosystem downfalls. Foreign consumers aren't aware of this and continue to demand and demand more from their producers who all just want to make money. The wires in toasters are mostly from India. The government doesn't recognize the death and health damage from environmental exposure. Environmental and health standards not enforced at all. The air or water quality is terrible, which is needed for well-being. People are suffering, but they have no right to demand clean and safe water and air. India produces and uses thousands of chemicals and it is one of the least environmentally regulated countries. Their global emissions are one of the highest and government does nothing to change. The poor people of India are most vulnerable to climate change. Even though this is the case, the government denies the existence of climate change. This is a global issue and countries not accepting it is a problem. Rubber from Thailand has another issue. Deforestation for rubber trees in the past drastically changed Thailand's forests. Population growth and industrialization has increased pollution. Air quality affects the health of the citizens. Thailand ranks lowest in water availability in Asia because of the increasing demand. This leads to marine animals being affected by the water pollution and air pollution, which has created more endangered species. Now I will show you how a toaster works. First you put the bread in, and then you wait. Once your toast is done, it should pop out. Now you're left with some delicious toast. This was a presentation that shows how toasters work 
as well as the impact this technology has on our environment and society. Toasters transform electrical energy into thermal energy, which toasts our bread and also emits some light. During the creation of toasters, they require many different materials from different nations around the world. The extraction and manufacturing of these materials have negative impacts on our environment, but there are some things being done to lessen the impacts and also spread awareness of this issue. Toasters are a wonderful invention that have made our lives easier. Whether you use it every day, for breakfast, or almost never, it seems some, it is something that incorporates different physics concepts to create this efficient piece of technology. Thank you for listening.